Warning. No, no. D- disclaimer. This review is based on my opinions and personal experience with the product. I'm in no way trying to sell you nor prevent you from buying said product. Or products. Also, I curse occasionally. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Today we're taking a look at the Morimoto XB LED Angel Eyes. Or just halos, whatever you want to call them. At the time of making this video, I've had these halos for maybe about 61 weeks, which translates to about 14 months or so. And I can honestly say, I've had no issues with them at all. Even after this. After the car was repaired, we were able to transfer the halos onto my new headlights, where I still have them on today. Still with zero issues. Now I can't really speak for everybody, because there have been some cases where a couple friends of mine have gotten a set from a bad batch, and their regulator went bad. But the retrofit source, that's where I got the halos from, were good with resolving the issue and sending out replacements. So now let's take a look at the halos. Right off the bat, you get this small little cardboard box with information about the size and color of the halos. Then inside the box, you'll find your two halos and two regulators. Now you're probably wondering why the halos on my car are yellow when unlit, yet the ones I'm showing you right now are white when unlit. But before I can explain the reason for that, it's time for a little science lesson. The halos are basically a ring of small little LEDs what are LEDs? LED stands for light emitting diodes. Now, what are diodes you ask? <laughs> the fuck if I know. Let's uh, uh, Google it. According to Google, a diode is a semiconductor device with two terminals, typically allowing the flow of current in one direction only. So, sounds like a diode's a one way street, but instead of cars, it's for electricity. Now, a little fun fact about LEDs is that technically there is no such thing as a white LED. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, BULLSHIT! There's white LEDs in my car right now! Now, hold on, hold on. Well, let me explain. Let's look at the basic color wheel for an example. <laughs> now it's an art lesson. On the color wheel, you've got your three primary colors. That's yellow, red, and blue. In order to get the colors in between, you've got to mix the primary colors together. So, yellow and blue makes green, blue and red makes purple, or violet, whatever you want to call it, and red and yellow make orange. Now back to LEDs. Currently there is no such thing as a white LED, rather it's actually a blue LED filtered through the yellow phosphorus giving it the illusion of white. This is the case for my halos. Whereas the newer ones that the retrofit store sells, <laughs> try to say that five times fast, the newer ones that they sell come standard with a white coating on top of the yellow phosphorus. If you look closely, you can still see a hint of yellow around the very edge, but it's hardly noticeable unless you're literally two inches away. So uh, yeah, back to the actual review. <laughs> These things are stupid bright like more visible than a lot of their competitors right now. Even when looking at them against the sun, they still stand out. The wiring is pretty simple if you know a thing or two about wiring. I don't. So I can't really give you much detail on how they're installed, but basically whenever the car is turned on, so are the halos. Underneath the hood, We've got the halos hooked up to this fuse shown here, and it's run under and behind the fuse box. You can get these from the Retrofit Source's website starting from $45 for a 60mm ring to $75 for 140mm. Links in the description down below. And the size that I have on my FRS are 90mm, which fit perfectly on the stock housing and come up to about $60 after shipping and whatnot. And that's all I've got for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. 
Also, if you got any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.